Hey guys, thought I was dead, I'm back. So first of all, I'm going to be using a purifying peel off mask by Shills. It's like this really cool stuff that dries and it goes sort of like leathery and it peels everything off, including hair and you know, your soul and all that stuff. It's magical. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that just for a bit of a shield for a bit of a project I've got going on later. It's involving facial hair. Next I'm going in with my liquid lipstick in Recollection. This is by MAC Cosmetics. Most things will be by MAC unless stated otherwise in this tutorial. I'm buffing that all over the eye and just pressing that through with a little flat shader brush. I'm going to go in underneath the eye with the tip of the flat shader and buff it through the lower lash line as well. Next I'm going in with the Saddle Eyeshadow by MAC. It's a matte shadow that's got that sort of beautiful bronze tone and I'm buffing that through with a loose fluffy brush just to really give that lovely blown out diffused effect. Next I'm going to go in with I'm Into It by MAC. It's like a deep sort of cranberry burgundy tone and I'm buffing that just through the outer third of the eye and just teasing it off into the crease as well. Once I've got that teased through there, I take that again through the outer third of the lower lash line as well. Next, after that, I'm going in with a dazzle shadow called Can't Stop, Don't Stop. I'm going to take that with a little touch of Fix Plus and just spritzing that down, I'm going to press that through the inner two thirds of the eye. Magical! After that, I'm going to go in with a vanilla pigment with a bit of Fix Plus. And I'm going to take that, just spritz it down lightly and knock that just through the inner corners of the eyes just to give that little pop, that little ray beam. After that, I'm going in with tan pigment. I'm going to douse this down with Fix Plus to turn it into a bit of a paste. And then I'm going to spread this all throughout my beard using a 190 flat shading, no oh, sorry, 190 foundation brush, excuse me. Once that's all over, I'm going to go on in with a gold glitter spray. I cannot remember the brand, so excuse me, but it's fairly generic. I'm gonna take that. Now with my eyes closed, I give this a good rattle and I'm gonna spritz this over the top of the tan pigment. This is why I put the mask on before, to protect my delicate skin. So now that's on, I'm going to peel off the mask. Ta -da! And round two, peeling the mask off. Oh my God. Ta -da! So now that's all fresh, I'm going to go in with Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation in NW20. It's a full coverage waterproof foundation, amazing for oily skin. And we're going to take this all over the face. You can see I'm using a slightly brighter shade than my skin. I do like to go pale, but you know, you could pick your own. I don't care. After that, I'm going in with the Light Boost Prep and Prime Pen, which is sort of like a banana-y sort of cream. And I'm going to take that underneath the eyes and spreading that out through and above the cheekbones. Above the cheekbones? Above the cheekbones, that makes sense, yes. Once that's on, I'm gonna take Match Master Concealer Stick in the shade 8.0, and I'm gonna use this as my cream contour. So I'm gonna dash that underneath the cheekbones, just in the hollows. I'm gonna spread that around the sides to remove my widow's poog. I'm gonna take a little bit as well on my nose. Now I'm gonna buff that in using the 130 brush, which is, um, it's like a little dense duo fiber brush. It's really amazing to blend in contouring with. I'm also going to use the Oval 6 brush, which is like a little toothbrush. It's these, these very famous brushes and they're really amazing to use. It's sort of a substitute for your finger, I would almost say, but it gives you a better finish. So I'm using those back and forward, just blending my contours in, making sure that I'm always blending those creams in the direction I want those contours to go. I would never spread them anywhere I wouldn't want them to finish. After that, we're going to go in with the CC powder in Illuminate. This is a compact sort of lilac powder and that's going to cancel the yellow and make my highlight look brighter. After that, I'm going to go in with False Lash, Hold up. False Lash Maximizer. This is going to make my lashes look longer, it's going to grow them, it's amazing. I also use it in my brows for that beautiful flared effect. So I just sort of push it through and then roll my thumb through my brows just to sort of let them flare and stand up and then I'm going to fill in any gaps. What am I going to fill them in with? Well, glad you asked. It's the Brow Sculpt in Lingering. It's one of my favourite products to use for the brows because it's just so easy to do. I'm just going to sort of really lightly flick that through the front of the brow and then working my way out. I'm just using slightly less just to let it fade and dither away. After that, I'm going to go in with a delicious coat of Insta Curl Mascara. This is a curling mascara with a brush that curls. Oh my god! We're going to take that and we're going to put that on my eyelashes, top and bottom. After that, buffing off that powder, 
that's enough baking. And let's add a bit of colour back to my face. So I'm going to use a bit of pinch me blush. I'm going to take that and I'm going to buff that right in underneath and follow my contour to just really help sculpt. A bit more vanilla pigment. I'm going to take this dry and I'm going to press this just over the top of my highlight. I know I've used like three or four bloody highlights, but I just, I just can't get enough of my good highlights. So this is just going to make my skin just pop a little bit on the nose. Now we're going to go in with Fashion Legacy Liquid Lipstick and this again is by MAC and it's a retro match so it dries totally dry. After that we're going to go in with With Gusto Vamplify Gloss. This is a full coverage gloss and I just want to sort of create a bit of a hybrid colour between the red and the purple. Sort of a bit of a grungy blacky blue purple thing. After that, just a bit more sculpting using some matte bronze bronzing powder, buffing that in and in and around the edges as well, around my widow's peak just to further conceal. Bit of styling, bit of hair, and voila! Well, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I am trying my hardest to make a return back to the wonderful land of YouTube. So stay tuned. I've also filmed a couple other videos coming up soon. And yeah, I'm, it's good to be back, baby.